Okay, uh, once again, some more review. Um, I believe we probably dealt with this in uh, uh, security management. Uh, some of the, well, I, I, not exactly security principles, but um, uh, ways to understand um, the security of, of different systems. Um, and that is uh, fail safe and fail secure. Um, fail safe is generally uh, also uh, described as fail open. Um, and in terms of uh, safety, particularly of personnel, um, yes, that's the way you want to do it. Um, the, uh, you know, a system uh, such as magnetic door locks, when the power goes out, the doors are open. That's, that's not good for security in terms of access, control, confidentiality, um, those sorts of things. But it is safe for personnel and um, uh, fail secure. Um, that is uh, sometimes also described as fail closed. So um, you have a situation you, again, I think I, I mentioned before, uh, this is probably something that you are only gonna see in uh, the military, um, that when it fails, um, it fails and uh, is inaccessible, unavailable. Um, so uh, that is secure in terms of confidentiality, in terms of access control, but um, it's not necessarily safe for personnel. And so we have these situations where um, uh, bank vaults, for example, generally speaking, are built uh, to uh, a fail secure type situation that if um, any part of the mechanism fails, uh, any aspect of the system fails, it fails in such a way that access is not permitted. And uh, so it will fail in such a way that um, you can't open the door, you can't open the vault. Um, and so if the power goes out, you can't open the vault. If um, uh, fire alarm goes off, usually speaking, uh, the, the thing will uh, automatically close. They, they may have um, hinges so designed that if nobody is actually there holding the door or if the, the mechanism is not powered on to keep the door open, um, the door will swing shut and uh, the lock mechanism will automatically engage. So um, that is secure, that prevents uh, unauthorized access, um, but it may be problematic in terms of personnel. Now, normally speaking, you don't have people in a bank vault uh, for most of the time. And, and so that is, uh, you know, a situation where, yeah, you, you, you can do a fail secure type system um, in uh, that situation. But um, it's, you know, it, it wouldn't be appropriate to do that in an office building. Um, in, uh, you know, even a, a fairly secure uh, place where you are developing your top secret software, whatever you are keeping your secrets, but, but people are actually working there, um, you probably would not do a fail secure system. You may have compartmented security, that the 
the media, the files that people uh, reference that are uh, sensitive and confidential, um, you will uh, perhaps keep in a uh, file cabinet that is designed in a fail-secure way. Um, you know, a, a mini vault. Um, and again, I think I mentioned my uh, father-in-law who had uh, a fire safe. Um, and uh, he would, you know, be ready. He never actually had to use it. But, you know, the idea was he could just sweep the uh, diskettes off the desk into the fire safe, slam the top shut, and exit the building. Um, the the fire, fire safes themselves, a, a number of them, are um, built in such a way uh, that they protect from heat by uh, degrading their own surface. Um, that um, the material uh, that they're, the outer coating is, is made of is, is um, heat sensitive and will melt, <clears throat> but in doing so will will sort of dissipate heat. And uh, of course, you know this this ruins the look of the safe. And as a matter of fact, in, in many cases, will seal the fire safe shut. And you're going to have to cut the safe open uh, once you've retrieved it. But uh, you know, that's, that's okay. That's a fail-secure situation, an appropriate fail-secure situation that you want to protect something. You want it to be protected in the case of a fire. Um, and it's okay as long as it still exists. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a, a bit of a delay and a bit of a mess in getting at it. So, you know, different examples of, of what you can do. Um, and, and where you would use uh, uh, fail safe and fail secure. And, and of course, in a fail secure situation, um, you would probably have some kind of trusted recovery process, procedure, and uh, personnel uh, to deal with that.